everyone. We are headed out to the Copper Cabin. A little bit different this time. It's not a solo adventure. It's me and my two kids. We're headed out to an off-the-grid off cabin. Solar powered. It's going to be a fun weekend. Uh-oh. Be careful. You want some help? Doing a good job. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is over there. The trees are all frosty. I don't know. Well, hopefully the. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> it would be nice if the uh, bridge was the size for the sleds. <laughs> All right, here you go. Pack mule. Blackberries? Oh yeah. Ouch. There's sap coming through the, the reflector. Oh yeah. Posting toilet. Was it a good hike? Is that a question? You going up? Mommy, you can walk here. I'm going to. Whenever I try to give up, I'll just bang my head. You're the shortest one. What? You're the shortest one. Oh, I 
four beds up here. Are you scared? And there is a ginormous knife right there. You did it! and I are going to take a little exploration walk. I think we can see the river. Let's go see what we can see. We enjoyed our nachos. The cabin's starting to get warmed up. It's about 61 in there now. I meant, meant to bring my fishing pole and I totally forgot. I even got my fishing license. I don't think <laughs> Don't go by the edge. It might sink down. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, look at that ice on the top there. So this is the Montreal River. just down from the cabin. The sun is actually coming out. First time today. Well, as far as I know. <laughs> Looks like there's a kayak and a bike. Oh yeah, see the owner's message and said that one window got broken. Oh, we got smoke coming out of the chimney. And this is the cutest sauna. Let's take a look at the inside. Mm. Look at that cool door. baby tomorrow. No, it's not a baby. And? <laughs> it's not fair. You got it last time. Totally not fair. Now it does the blacks. Two black apple. My wings. I, we all won one. Good job. Woo! My are cold. <laughs> Good morning. The sun is poking through the trees. Forrest was up at about six this morning to use the bathroom, and we got to see the sunrise a little bit through the trees. It looked like the whole forest was on fire. How did you sleep, buddy? Mm -hmm. Forrest had a bit of a sore throat when he went to bed. He was coughing a little bit, but I think he was just tired. He feels pretty good now, don't you? Mm -hmm. So this cabin is very fancy compared to what I'm used to being in. It has a DVD and TV player, so um, the kids got to watch some SpongeBob before bed. And I am just making some breakfast. And what are you going to watch next? Yogi Bear. <laughs> He's going to watch Yogi Bear. He hasn't seen that one yet, so it's an old classic from back back in the day. So I'm making some bacon, hash browns, and eggs. I'm going to get the 
fire going back up again. Um, looks like it's a beautiful day so far. It is calling for rain starting around 5 p.m. I believe. So we will just keep an eye on the forecast and see what happens, I guess. I forgot my creamer. Oh no, I'm really roughing it today. <laughs> I have to drink just black coffee. I forgot my special creamer that I always bring. <laughs> the sun shining through the beautiful stained glass. Isn't that pretty? It'll be a beautiful day. It's been a pretty chill day today. We just had some visitors. We had my aunt and uncle in there. Husky, come on out to visit. We played a bunch of card games. Getting pretty windy. It's supposed to rain this evening. So that'll be nice on the cabin roof. I'm gonna work on getting the sound lit, I think. There's not a whole lot of wood out here, um, unfortunately. Um, so, I don't know. I think there's just enough maybe for tonight's fire and then maybe a sauna. So little disappointed with that, so I'm going to see what I can do to get the sauna started. It should take an hour or so to heat up, and then we're going to have steaks tonight, potatoes, and then probably enjoy, just enjoy a quiet evening. So I ended up, apparently I hurt my uh, shoulder. I've had bad shoulders for a couple of years now, primarily my right one because I use it so much for work. Um, so. I woke up this morning with it in a lot of pain um, and I'm guessing it was probably from pulling the sled yesterday. I probably wasn't being careful um, with it because I'm cautious with it all the time because I know it's bad and I, I can't afford to be having a bad shoulder. So I'm usually cautious, but I think yesterday I was just so excited to come out here that I wasn't being careful and pulling the sled I think is probably what did it. So I can hardly move my arm today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and haul in some wood and probably just one arm. <laughs> I'll be building up the strength in my left arm, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Let's find some kindling and get this fire started. A tiny little stove. Only a couple of pieces of the shorter wood left here, apparently, so yes. fingers crossed we can make this work. There we go, finally getting it. <laughs> I had to go scrounge around for some bark and um, birch bark and scraps and things, so now she's going. Took a little bit of work. Um, there's not a lot of the smaller sauna wood here left. So, I don't know. I found a few pieces, and let's see, we have one, two, three, four pieces of wood that's here that's short enough, I think. So, um, that should be enough. I just need, I just need a sauna. It's just gonna be me, because my kids don't like the sauna. So, it's getting kind of windy now, so we'll see if the, um, the rain starts up. It'll be a nice, cozy evening. And... My ideal sauna temperature, mm, I'd say is probably 180, 160 to 180. Like that's a really good temperature for me. Um, I don't like it to hurt when I breathe. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. That looks cozy though, doesn't it?
town has been smoking for like an hour. I went out to check it thinking it was going to be ready and it was barely going. There's still only 46 in there. So, just stoked it back up. I'm going to go for a little walk, see if I can find some branches that I can cut to make uh, marshmallow sticks. I guess we'll just have to uh, roast our marshmallows in the little inside fire. As I have not been able to find any poker sticks anywhere. I didn't bring mine because I had just assumed there would be some here. But, we'll do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> How the Aborigines used to uh, roast their marshmallows over sticks. The river's going good today. I am. <laughs> I'm contemplating um, going in the sauna and then jumping in the river. I don't think I can do it though. I want to. I see there's a couple of YouTubers I watch, my two favorite YouTubers, and both of them like take baths in the river in the middle of winter. And I don't know. I can't even hardly jump into Lake Superior um, after taking a sauna in the summer. So. I don't know. I probably won't do it. I want to though. I want to. I know it'd make such a good video, right? Oh, 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 oh. No, I already, I already know I won't be able to jump in there. <laughs> Man, does that look cold. I don't know how they do it. Would you do it? <laughs> Let me know. I'm already cold just coming down here from the cabin. Got a couple of drops of rain and I have a chill now. I hope the sauna fires up nice because I'm cold. Sauna. It is Beltane tomorrow. May Day. So we are halfway between the spring and summer solstices. We are exactly six months from Samhain for Halloween. So can you imagine? We're halfway to being trick-or-treating again. Summer better hurry up. There's still a good two to three uh, feet of snow out here, if you can't tell. So I'm making steak and potatoes and salad. Potatoes are white potatoes and then a purple potato, which are really pretty. Is still smoking. Bon appetit! Good. Salad, steak with mushrooms and potatoes. No mushrooms for forest. Another hour later and we're at finally at 86. And this friend here, little baby daddy long legs. Hello baby. The stove seems to be rocking still. Well hopefully it'll heat up. I'm also not sure what I'm supposed to do for water because there's no buckets or anything here. I guess I'm on a hunt for a bucket or something, and I guess I'll just get some river rod. <laughs> I guess I'll just get some river water. I don't know. I don't know. So apparently, what they have is the water from the gutters goes into the cistern, and there's a faucet there, um, or there's one water catchment there, and that's what the pump inside is for, I'm guessing. But I haven't been able to get any water out of the pump yet, so I guess it must be frozen or else there's no water left in there.
give out now, we'll be good. All right, we're up to 95, so starting to heat up now. And I guess I'll just put this up here. That should heat that up. Sure how warm it'll get before I come out here, but it's gonna be better than that freezing cold river water. My shoulder made it, so that's good news. The rain on the roof sounds so nice. Be a cozy night. How is it? No, I can barely hold on to it. What? I have to take a bite and be messy and go dance in the rain. and we're still just at 95 so that's all right I'm just gonna go in there and at least wash up and stuff so it will be like an amazing sauna but um, you know it's still hot in there and I get to wash in the river water which is kind of special on this Beltane Eve and it's gonna be refreshing either way all right all done yeah, it's still, it's down to 90 in there now, so it's cold. And now I have to walk to the cabin. <laughs> it's windy, I don't want to. Um, overall, not the best sauna at all. Like, I couldn't get too much steam, but I'm clean, and I loved putting the river water over me, so overall cleansing, but as far as saunas go, not, not very good. <laughs> oh, it's raining. I don't fall. Good morning. I could hear the bird all the way. Inside the cabin, I thought I was hearing things. I was very happy this morning. It rained all night, but we still have lots of snow. I woke up in the night listening to the rain, and I started worrying about whether the bridge was going to be washed away. It always sounds like so much more rain on the roof than is actually happening, so I'm sure I was imagining a lot more rain <laughs> than was actually happening. My shoulder is absolutely killing me this morning. <sighs> Hopefully I can cook breakfast and be able to clean up in the next two hours before we have to leave. Thank you. Raining again. Raining again. Yep. Looks like we might get a bit wet. <coughs> Might get a bit wet on the walkout. Devora finished the puzzle up last night. Very nice. There's two miss two pieces <coughs> missing. 
Good job on the puzzle. While we were getting ready to head back out, came down to visit the river one more time. I think the kids had a good time. They uh, they haven't caught the camping spirit like I have, but they definitely uh, are a little more settled in today. <laughs> I always want to stay for one more day. It's always hard to leave. I'm just getting into like the the quietness and enjoying nature. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any interest in uh, this cabin yourself, I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up. Um, it was a lovely cabin. It was a nice stay. So now we're going to spend some time cleaning it up. We always try to leave it much better than what we found, which won't be too hard. Um, there was just a lot of dog hair all over everything when we got here, which we, I, you know, I'm used to dogs. I used to have sled dogs, so it's not a huge deal. But um, if you know, if you were somebody that was allergic, you definitely would not want to stay here. <laughs> but overall, it was a very nice experience. Um, the spot is what what really does it. It's such a beautiful area. Um, I wouldn't mind coming back here in the fall and uh, being able to swim in the river and maybe get the sauna up to temperature um, and actually have a fire outside, like I was looking forward to but it's actually a beautiful day today. The water is dripping from the trees and it's just lovely. Um, fingers crossed that we can get across the bridge. It seemed like it rained a lot last night, but, and the water is, I mean, the river is up higher for sure. But anyway, thanks for coming along. Like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, you can always find me on Facebook under Gypsy Trekker. Um, I post a lot more often there um, or on TikTok under Gypsy Trekker as well. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, the bridge is still here, but it's. <laughs> that one side's right to the water. Are we ready for this, guys? Alright, I'll go first. It's time for me to go Burn all bridges